Oh my gosh. It's falling off anyway. Oh my god. Okay, let's try it on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm so excited today. I feel like I say I'm always excited in literally all my videos, but I am excited because I'm expanding my wig collection. I just want to expand my wig collection because even though like I actually am very, I don't know the word, plain, like in, in on YouTube, I wear like lots of makeup and I like dressing up, but that's because like I don't do much in my normal life. Like this is, you know. Fun. So, um, I got some wigs. I've been wanting to get some from UV Me. So, like accessories, clothing, um, wigs. I actually found their video through Alexa Pilati. If you watch her, I love her. Um, and ever since I watched her wig videos on UV Me wigs, I've wanted to get a couple. I actually might have even got some that she's purchased in the past, but. That's not to say they're gonna look the same on me. So a couple things to note. I haven't opened the package. It's right here. This is it. She's not open yet. I've waited. I've been good. I've been patient and I have waited. I guess like let's quit jibber jabbering and like let's just open it. I literally don't even have a wig cap. Like I'm wearing pantyhose on my head. Work with me. Okay, let's open the package. <laughs> I'm like so nervous and I'm just like stalling. Okay, so right away, I have this one. Let's just start with this one. <laughs> Let's take off the wig. No, not yet. Oh my gosh, it's falling off anyway. Okay, another thing to know is I have literally, I have a big head. Like my head is huge. I also don't have short hair. Um, I have, oh, there's wig caps in here. There's a wig cap, okay? Listen, I really needed this and I didn't have it. I didn't, like, that's how you know I didn't look in here early. I went to Walgreens just to buy some pantyhose for my head. So first, let's take out this wig, which I'm not sure which one this is. My wig's already fallen off because I'm nervous. Okay, so let's see, let's see what we got first. Okay, I know which one this is. So this is the Harajuku Lolita wig with two small buns. I did get it in like a blonde color because I want to cut my hair so bad. It's so soft and so silky and it actually has like a false scalp right here. Oh my god, okay, let's try it on. <laughs> okay, wig is gone, baby. I got a big head. It does have adjustable like thing right here like in the back uh there's no combs or anything i am gonna put this kind of on a tighter one first we're gonna put it on without the buns i do uh see the buns in the bag i just looked and let's just put it on oh my gosh i hope it fits because i have a huge head hold on oh my gosh so that's one thing i did hear like commonly was that all of the bangs are so long on these freaking wigs. Like, they're stupid long. Like, let's see. Like, oh my god, they're literally so long. Oh my god, I literally look like when I was seven years old. <gasps> First, I'm going to put the buns on. So I want you guys to see me open the buns. Um, okay, there. So it's just like a little bun. Like, it's so random. Oh, can I just put one on actually? Let's put one one bun right in the middle. I put a scrunchie. Now I'm gonna try to blow dry my little bangs. They look, this wig is cute, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, after some technical difficulties, I am back. I do have a tube top on. And I'm going to now try roll these bangs. Okay, I guess that's a little better. I mean, they're out of my eyes and they're like fluffy. Um, I was gonna also try to put the other bun on. Oh my god, the wig literally just slid off. I'm gonna try to put the other bun on just so we can get a view of both. Everybody is always like, oh, the wig's, uh, bangs are so long. The, I think that they make them long so you can adjust them to your face. So I just like really wanted to say that. Every time I watch the videos, I'm like, oh, well... 
they keep them long so you can adjust it to how you need it okay after a long haul i've been recording for so long already and i've only done one wig here is wig number one um one thing alexa pilati does is a flash test and i'm totally giving her credit for it but i am also going to do a flash test uh, maybe like if i get a different hair color or something and i will put it in the video okay so the flash test isn't bad at all i'm just super pale wow this looks so this looks so natural i will just have to really really like work with these bangs and try and get them to be my friend because they are not my friend right now moving on next wig next wig next wig next wig it's only 10 o'clock at night next up we have this black wig um i think i only got one black wig so i hope this is what i think it is because if it is i'm gonna be so freaking excited oh my god so I've like always, 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 always had an affinity for goth culture. I want to be goth so bad, <laughs> but it's just like something I've never done. Like, I don't know. I, I have such an appreciation for it. Like, I love goth people. Um, so anyway, I wanted to give myself a goth makeover. So I got a long black wig that is so, so soft. This is the Waterline Curl Wig inside in color black. Like holy crap but it's so long <laughs> oh my gosh again it does have a fake scalp so i did have my hair brown at one point in my life but it had a very strong undertone of green long story short i had blue hair tried to dye it brown to cover it didn't work so um yeah i've had dark hair and i looked awful with it this has no combs and it has one strap in the back. So, FYI. Oh no, Memento, before you're like, oh my god, girl, no. <laughs> Hold on! Just give me a chance. Roll my bangs. Okay, now I've cut them and they're kind of like fluffing out. <laughs> I think that like with the right makeup, I could do it. So here's how long it is. It goes all the way to my belly button. I like am so pale, so I'm like glowing and I look like Wednesday Adams. Let's try brushing it. It brushes so easy. Do you see that? But yeah, it looks really good. I would recommend this wig. It's super soft. It's gonna be great for my goth transformation. So stay tuned if you're interested in that. But we're gonna move on to the next wig now. Next up, we have... Oh my God. I think I just got a freebie. Look at this so cute comb. Oh, I just died. It's pink and it has like wiggly teeth. So that way like when you're like brushing your wig, it doesn't like pull the hair out. Like, oh my God, like. <laughs> so next up we have, oh. This one I got because it reminded me of the Galaxy. Um, and I've seen lots of people get this wig and it always has like rave reviews. This is the very popular long roll gradient wig in purple gradient. They're all one size, by the way. Let me just like put that out there right now. So right away, the hair is super soft, like super soft. Wow. This one doesn't have clips and it does have a false scalp. So let's put, let me hook the strap in the back. It does have a strap, but it does not have clips. I'm going to hook up this strap and we're going to get this bad boy on my head. So let's pop this on. Okay. So here's this one. It goes like to right here. It's so pretty. I am going to brush it a little bit to help it regain some of its shape. This is so, 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 so soft. 
Uh, for the bangs, I'm gonna try to roll them. Okay. So that actually like did nothing. This wig is like really, really soft. Um, it's so soft. Like, wow, this is the softest one yet. And this is gonna be really, really pretty. One thing I wanted to see is if anything was reactive in UV light. Because sometimes hair is and it looks really cool. None of this is, unfortunately. Not even real makeup. I love this one. Oh yeah. I really like this is like my vibe. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh oh yeah. Uh shine checks. Ready? Hold on a second. Guys, I'm so pale. This one 100% looks natural. Um, I'm just fair, so you're going to have to bear with me. But yeah, this one's beautiful. Oh my god, I love this one. I could totally keep this one on, but we need to move on for the sake of this video. But this is lovely, and it's so soft. Next wig on Alexa Pilati. And she was like, maybe if you have like that aesthetic, like you'll like this one. Oh my god, literally, I'm wearing a stocking on my head. Sorry. Um, and I was like, oh yes, I have that aesthetic. It is this mossy green, uh, green short curly hair fluorescent green wig. Um, I saw this one and I was like, yes, I need that one. I need that one. Yes. So I liked it because in the video she was like, this kind of reminds me of like the 80s grungy like rocker hair, which is like totally my vibe. Okay, so no combs, and it does have a strap in the back. So we're going to pop this on. This one was like one of the ones I was the, like, the most excited about. Oh my gosh, like the... Okay, <laughs> when she first put it on, it looked like this too. I have to get hairspray so I can like actually style it. But shake it out a little bit. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, it looks good. Um, I actually really like this one a lot. Um, I like that sort of, like, grungy aesthetic, but, like, right here at the front, I don't know if you can see. It's, like, really weird. It almost looks, like, kind of nappy. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Um, but in any case, this is, like, super cute. I'll just have to, like, kind of style it, cut the bangs, you know, same old, same old. But yeah, again, so soft, like not surprised at all. Let's do a flash test. Okay, this one's the best one I've seen so far. No shine. Like, you would think I'm like some like drunk green hair girl, but like I'm not. It's my real hair. This looks so good. Okay. Moving on, next wig. So here's my last two wigs. Here is the Korea Koss Mixed Color Wig. Now, I didn't see any reviews on this. I haven't seen this wig anywhere. I got it because of the color. It was like a bluish sort of black. It kind of made me think of like a comic book um, character. I really liked it. Um, it is the, I think it's one of the wigs that has like a different hair texture. Um, throughout the video, I've been putting the texture on the screen. Uh, so you'll see if it's different, but I will say this, it does look shiny even without flash, but the shape is like out of the package. Perfect. Here's the colors. If you can see that up close, it's like black and blue. Um, no clips, literally no wigs have had any clips. So just FYI, um, but it does have the back strap on the, like the nape of the neck. It's kind of like Hatsumiku blue and black, like exactly that. Hatsumiku and black. Okay, so, okay. I literally look like I have a peanut head. They're so soft, like I don't know how they're so soft and like you buy synthetic wigs here in America and it's just like so sad what you get like it's <laughs> but these are like 30 to 40 dollars and they're like human hair soft the lash test 
I like try to click on the palest part of me. Um, I actually, I mean, it's shiny, but like, it looks so good. I love it. I love this wig. I love this wig. I love all these wigs. This is like amazing. Next wig. Good, because my head's hurting from this wig cap. It's like keeps sliding off, like honestly. This is so pretty, guys. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Our last wig. I saw it on a girl on Instagram, and I got it. Um, Very, very soft. I will say, though, uh, that's definitely like pastel pink. In the picture I saw of the girl, it looked a lot more blonde. I'm not mad at this, though, because this is gorgeous, and it is so soft. Wow, this one has clips. Oh, this actually is a little different. Okay, so this one has three clips, uh, and it it actually has a tag that says Alice Garden. Hmm, interesting. I am not gonna use the clips because I have a wig cap on, um, but in any case, I'm gonna clip the back, and we'll get this one on, and this is our last wig. It does have a false scalp. This is the dar the darkest scalp that I've seen, just to make a note, which is good. It's showing some variety here. Not that dark, but darker than the other ones. Uh, okay, so this is definitely very small, in my opinion. <laughs> um, I do have a big head. I always, you know, I've said that like 12 times, but I just, you know, I want you to know. I got a big head, and it's small on my big head. Watch out, Emo Lolita coming through. Oh, look, if I could just like hairspray them. Okay, okay. My God, we got one styled. You can straight up see the weft. Like, just like there's no hiding that bad boy. Now let's try and brush her out. Again, so soft, so soft. Oh, and look, it has like, she called these something. I saw somebody unboxing a UV Me wig um, and it has like these little hairs right here. I love these because I think they're so flattering. Um, it has these, <laughs> if like you're wondering or something. Um, but yeah, here's the last wig. So I opened all the wigs and oh my God, I was so shook to my core. Like these wigs, if you take care of them, they'll last you. You could totally wear this to a festival. I already know I'm going to be wearing this one. It's much more comfortable to me because I am a blonde. So okay um so i'm used to having like light hair uh and even though you can kind of see the weft right there in the front this is so cute but i hope you enjoyed let me know down below which wig it was your favorite um if you think any look a little fake if you think give me your thoughts just give me all your thoughts like you can't say the wrong thing unless you're being ugly if you want to be ugly for golf so yes I hope you enjoyed. This is like a whole look. Like, Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, have any questions? Leave them below. Other than that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!